Well, the path of neuroscience is, is varied, and it, and it depends a lot on one's own uh, skills and passions. I mean, the, the, you have to find, basically you're trying to find something that you love, because if you love something, you'll do better at it. The things you do best at are the things you love. So whether you come in from electrobiology or you come in from psychology, those are going to be very personal decisions in terms of what kinds of preferences people have. But beyond that, in terms, you know, one starts off by reading and taking classes, and but then the big transition to neuroscience, to any kind of science, is the actual act of doing research, and that's essentially the transition from undergraduate to graduate school. I mean, it's a totally different lifestyle at that point. You, you move from being somebody who reads to somebody who does things. It's an apprenticeship, and. I think the uh, most important thing that people can do to, to get ready is to find laboratory experiences during the summers. If, if they're in places where there's not a lot of laboratory experience in their undergraduate curriculum. Um, the people who do well in graduate school applications are people who have had a lot of experience already doing research. They already know they like it, they already have been in the lab, they already know a little bit about the, the, the tech, some of the techniques and, 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 and the culture. So. Uh, I think lab rotations, lab experiences, volunteering in labs during the summer, that, that provides the key transition from the life of reading books and reading articles, which is an undergraduate phenomenon, <laughs> to, the, to the real experience of becoming a scientist, which is an apprenticeship over many years in a laboratory in graduate school.